What does an atom really look like? It doesn't look like this, or this, or even this. The real answer for what an atom actually looks like is hidden in the mathematics of quantum mechanics. This is the radial distribution function of the atom, or the RDF. It tells us charge density at a given radius from the nucleus. In other words, the function describes where the electron shell of the atom is most likely to be found. The electron's RDF tells us that 99.999% of the shell is found within only 430 picometers of the nucleus. This view of the atom shows the spherical S shell. It displays the electron's strange SU2 symmetry, which means that it rotates twice before returning to its starting point. For more details about how this works, check out our video on electron spin linked in the upper right-hand corner. When atoms undergoing this motion come into contact with other atoms, their rotational friction propagates throughout the material and generates electricity, magnetism, chemistry, and near-field radiation. We'll be making more videos to explain this in greater detail, so be sure to subscribe if you're curious. Returning to the radial distribution function, we see that the atom is not simply a spherical shell. The tails of the distribution show that there's a 0.001% chance that the electron will be found at any distance from the nucleus. And if we add the rarefied portions of the RDF to our S shell, we see that radial electron filaments extend in all directions and out to neighboring atoms. These extensive elastic filaments act as physical bridges between atoms. The connections between atoms deform to produce far-field radiation of all varieties, including visible light and radio waves. They're also responsible for gravity and Newton's inverse square relationship. To see the radial elastic model of gravity, check out our video linked in the upper right-hand corner. This has been a visualization of the atom using material in motion. Future videos will all be dedicated to putting mechanics back into the quantum world, as we believe that fundamental physics can be explained by the viscoelastic behavior of atoms. <laughs>